Donald Trump has revoked the security clearance of former CIA director John Brennan, lashing out at him, saying he exhibits erratic conduct and behavior. It's thought Brennan is only the first in a line of officials who will suffer the same fate as Samira Khan investigates. I've exercised my constitutional authority to deny Mr. Brennan access to classified information. Sarah Sanders spoke to press and she said that the decision to revoke Brennan's clearance was based on his erratic conduct and behavior, defending the move as an effort to secure classified info from someone who has helped foment division in the past and clearly has very partisan president. leanings. The most divisive president, an individual who basically betrayed his nation. He routinely lies. Betray the women and men of the FBI. He deceives. And to betray the American public. And he misrepresents the facts and reality. It is a betrayal of the nation. But this is an abnormal president. John Brennan himself has already chimed in, blasting the move as part of a bid to suppress free speech and punish critics. But for some context, John Brennan left his position as director of the CIA back in January 2017, and he now serves as MSNBC's senior national security and intelligence analyst. But this whole debacle began last month when Senator Rand Paul called Brennan's motives into question, asking if he had been profiting off of his clearance by divulging secrets to the mainstream media, his exact words. He even met with Trump, asking him to revoke the clearances of not only Brennan, but a few other prominent political figures. I am evaluating action with respect to the following individuals. James Clapper, James Comey, Michael Hayden, Sally Yates, Susan Rice, Andrew McCabe, Peter Strzok, Lisa Page, and Bruce Orr. Security clearances for those who still have them may be revoked. The president is doing the right thing, revoking the clearances of people who aren't contributing anything positive. Mm -hmm. Certainly a lot of the more uh, higher ups in the FBI and also at NSA and CIA, certainly. I mean, I believe these people are all involved in this uh, Russiagate and uh, fabrication of it and uh, manipulating information and data for the public consumption to uh, confuse and, uh, and uh, you know, create the... Uh, all kinds of uh, uncertainty in the government and the government business. That's that's what they. Uh, that's why they should never have a clearance. Meanwhile, Washington has a tradition of allowing former presidents and senior intelligence officials to, to uh, still get their morning intel briefings each and every day, even when they are retired. But now, in the unprecedented wake of cutting off Brennan's top-level security access, Donald Trump says this is not political. He would have done the same to any Republican he deemed incompetent.